taken on a, a much wider angle, but it does have um, uh, towers in it. And if you crank the photo in, and you can see it properly. The tower is there. Oh, okay. yeah. And you can also see men sitting in the buckets if you look really carefully. <laughs> So the, 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 the location, I think you said there was something, you've got, you've got the location now. Um, I can walk you down here to where this was yeah. this afternoon and uh, show you where this was. Yeah. The other thing is that the, 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 the towers are the location across the valley. Yeah. Now the geo, uh, geo information that the engineer that sort of, um, has developed, is that accurate? Yes. So that's basically accurate on base on your wall. Not from the one the Charles first did, yeah. the ones that where the water across the valley could migrate. Yes. yes. They're accurate. They're accurate. So you know where the towers are. That's really important because if, what we want to be able to do is create an image of this, how it run, ran across the valley. Now you could do by just simply creating a colour. The, the width of the actual cleared land is about about 20, 25 feet. 25 feet. So basically you could put a coloured line under the towers to represent and drown it out against the green. Yeah, you can see the line. So we need to create a line with cleared, cleared 